Hi, it's Katie and welcome to my corner of the world. Well, and happy Mask Monday. Today I'm going to try this Rose and Collagen Hydrating Face Mask from Azure. You see this brand, I'm not sure where I got this, but I see this brand all the time in TJ Maxx, so I thought I would give it a try. Okay, and see if I want to pick up some more hair on my next trip there. I also have a little haul from TJ Maxx and from Burlington to share with you. So let me get this on and I will be right back. Okay, so I got that all rolled out. So well, the rose and collagen is supposed to be hydrating, moisturizing, toning, and wrinkle reducing. So we will see how that goes. I said I've seen a lot of that brand at TJ Maxx, especially with um, like gold foil masks. So well, I wanted to see what I thought of the brand at least before I, I purchased some of those. Like I said, I do have a little bit of a haul for you today. Okay. Okay. Now this bag egg, is both Burlington and TJ Maxx, but this it bag has gifts for people in it. So I'm not going to share that one, but I do have this one to share with you. So. All right, while I'm getting that open, and welcome, my name is Katie. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. Hey, on my channel, I do all kinds of unboxing, subscription boxes, mystery boxes, boxes from Etsy. I also do hauls, lifestyle, beauty, clothes, food, you name it. If you shop for it, I probably hauled it. That sounds good to you. Please consider hitting the subscribe button below. It is completely free and it would mean the world to me. Also, turn on that bell notification. We'll let you know when I have new content that goes up. You never know when that content might have giveaways in it. All active giveaways are listed down in the description. And, and just a reminder, I do have the advent calendar giveaway going on for the entire month of October. Actually, all three videos are up at this point. I didn't expect them to all go up within a week, but uh, they kind of did. Uh, just because, as I all of a sudden had calendars rolling in. But I am still going to keep it open until the end of the month. So oh, I will have the playlist for that down in the description. And I will also link it up here for you. Oh, and then I, I kicked off Small Business Saturday the other day, and that will run all through October and November on Saturdays, and I will be choosing some of the goodies that I get on from those small businesses into a giveaway for you. All of this is all paid for, all the advent calendars, the small business stuff, everything is paid for with by my own money. Um, YouTube and the companies have nothing to do with this. Okay, so let's get into this. I think the only thing from Burlington that I have that I can share with you, I only got a couple things from there this time. Um, I did find like, like a couple Disney things and um, two of them are gifts. One is for me and then Andrew picked out a Ravens sweatshirt that he liked. So, oh, this was the only thing that I really picked up for me. There are these cute little slippers that have mini or Mickey Mouse's is in like the Christmas peppermint candy shapes. I just thought they were super cute. Oh, I paid six dollars, five ninety nine for them. Um, so that was my only a real pickup in there. Everything else was from TJ Maxx. And a, a lot of this is masks. That's why I thought it would be appropriate to do it on a mask Monday because the vast majority of what I got there was masks. Um, I'll start out with the non-mask stuff. I did need some new makeup blenders. I found these um, from Good Vibes. It's a pack of four and that was $4.50. Okay, and then, then I also found these beauty a sponges or wedges is from Eco Tools, and these were two dollars. 
And then the last thing that is not a mask is from the Crumb Shop. And you know I love the Crumb Shop, especially their, their um, masks. This wasn't a mask. This was makeup removing wipes. But I, I thought I would try them out. I don't use them a lot for actually taking off my makeup. But I like to have a little oh, a pouch like next to me when I'm doing swatches and things like that. Um, sometimes I'll use it if I have a lot of fallout from an eyeshadow to try and clean that up, up too. So I did pick those out. And this was one of my favorite masks that Emily and I did was the Little Bear one. So, and they're supposed to smell like watermelon. You know, what well, was not to like there. Okay, to the masks. And when I say I picked up masks, I am not kidding. <laughs> um, first, I got a couple of under eye ones from Precision, Precision Beauty. These are cucumber ones to help reduce soothe under eye puffiness. And it comes with five packs. So there should be like one in each. And I paid $3 for this. Uh, I was trying to get one. Out, but everything is sealed up really well here. Let's see if I can, yeah. So that's just what it looks like. So you can't really see a, the masks through it. Right. Then, then I picked up a whole, well, okay. Hey, then from Kala, I was going to go to the crown shop, but I have so many from them, I was going to save them to last. From Kala, I have the Skin Smoothie Watermelon Facial Sheet Mask. It's ultra hydrating with watermelon, cucumber, rosemary, pumpkin, and apple seed, and apple extract. I actually, and I paid $2 for five masks. I was going to, in the FabFitFun edit sale, uh, I was going to pick up a pack of 10 watermelon masks. It was going to be about $6. So it was a really good price. Ace, if you haven't, um, I think the, I know it ends on Monday. A, um, I don't know if it goes all through Monday or, or when, but if you go on there and look for those, uh, they may be on there and, and it is a great pickup. I just happened to find these even cheaper. Er, and so I picked these up and took that off up and that's just what they look like and this one was a pack of five that one was a pack of ten but this was still still a slightly a better deal all right now to the crumb shop uh, I'm hoping I don't have I think all of these are new ones for Emily and I. Emily, if you don't know, is my 10 year old daughter. She likes to do Mask Mondays with me every once in a while, usually about once a month. And we love these crumb shop ones. So I picked up some new ones for us to do together. Yeah, <laughs> you can hear her off camera. She just got back from Girl Scouts. So I found this Stay Dewy Skin, which is like a little seal or otter. There, I don't think we've done that one before. I found Plump Up Skin with a French Bulldog on it. And it has French hat. Yes, it has the little French beret. And then this is my favorite one. And um, I don't know how much we need it. It's called Sika Mend. It's uh, infused with reparative power of Centella Asiaca. I don't it's for sensitive, dry, or oily skin. It's supposed to heal, protect, and sustain. But it had a little tiger it on had, it. It had band-aid. Yeah, he has a little boo-boo there. <laughs> there. But I couldn't pass him up. He was just so cute. What's the last one? Hold on. Okay. And I think... Were they all $3.99? $3 they might have all been $3.99. Maybe one I got for less, as but it, so Emily and I have three new masks that we can use, and then the last one that was oh wait I'm missing one somewhere. Uh oh mm -hmm. oh there is another one, and this one I did get for three dollars. This is Brighten Up Skin, and it has a little llama <gasps> on it. it so I thought he was cute. Oh, this is cool. And then I must have something else in here that I didn't know. 
or something fell out in the car. Okay, so I'm missing one and probably fell out in the car. I'll have to go double check, but I will share it with you on Tea Tuesday if I find it. But um, they had Zodiac face masks and they had the Capricorn one, which is me. So I had to pick those up too. Oh, all right. Um, this is getting long. That was what I got that I could show you at Burlington and TJ Maxx. Next, um, probably stop over there again soon because I've seen other people at, um, online going to Burlington's who have been finding way more Disney stuff. They did not have much Disney there at all in mine. Some of them have found like amazing like Christmas ears and Christmas socks and everything. They just didn't have them at mine. And so, oh, I will be back to Burlington soon and I think I'm set for masks for a little while maybe? Maybe. All right, that is it. That is all I have for you today. Until I see you next time, have a great day. Bye.